Afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the end of day's trading, Tuesday, 19th September 2017. Please be sure to visit TradeSignal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of stats today, we have the Asian markets um, certainly mixed. You have the uh, Shanghai, certainly negative, Hang Seng Chinese markets certainly down as well, Singapore, Sensex. But the Nikkei up almost two percentage points now again that's very impressive certainly has kept the uh, the actual US market afloat okay on the back of talk that uh, Mr uh, Mr Yen himself Mr Abe is going to call uh, obviously call an early election and again that certainly has helped risk sentiment given the fact that Yen certainly has slid lower now if I bring up the chart of USDJPY I'll give you an insight there you can see USDJPY here certainly rising breaking above that key resistance zone let's give you a 60 minute chart to give you an example here and you can see usdjpy certainly pushing high on the back of obviously you the yen certainly uh, becoming weaker on the back of mr arby's continued policy of qe so it certainly seems like mr mr yen mr arby mr yen himself certainly has helped uh, the uh, the actual risk sentiment higher so impressive thrust okay We're almost uh, reaching 112 now on the yen usdjpy uh, daily charts you can see we've broken above and it certainly seems like it's helping risk sentiment thus far although yesterday it certainly didn't okay well that's the status quo at present again a weaker yen certainly helps the nikkei nikkei higher and again that helps the u.s markets remain afloat okay so european markets the stats for european markets let's just quickly give you an insight there uh, european markets at the moment foot ceo up finished 21 points higher dax uh, basically closed more or less flat along with the cac uh, the FTSE MIB certainly closing up 0.2%. Uh, so, an uh, interesting session there. Now, again, with regards to European uh, markets, let's quickly go through the economic data. Uh, German uh, ZEW numbers certainly came in stronger than expected. EU Eurozone current account came in stronger uh, as well, certainly impressing there. Construction data for the European Eurozone certainly came in stronger. The only weakness really was ZEW for Europe coming in slightly weaker, nothing major. Okay, and also there was talk with regards to the ECB certainly seems to be sending out potential warning signs now um, in terms of the ECB let me just quickly go to that tweet I read during the day in terms of uh, potentially postponing the uh, decision uh, with regards to the end of QE uh, also uh, certain members concerned with regards to a stronger euro and again that certainly has helped risk to a large extent I suppose obviously with Mr Yen as well um, Nikkei up almost 2% so again that certainly did help risk altogether okay so where are we technically speaking now let's look at the german dax from my perspective german dax certainly has hit his inverted head and shoulders target certainly has completed that is it is obviously uh, stuck and stalled at gap fill resistance now around that 12590 zone okay so we are looking for a potential reversal on the dax that's my interpretation uh, the uh, chart uh, certainly or the data the uh, 12 5 12 6 12, 13 certainly rejected and from my perspective, I would certainly be looking for a potential for an uh, HNS formation here. But let's go to a 10 minute chart, we'll sort of obviously get a better idea uh, with regards to the potential next move on the French, on the German DAX. Sorry, okay. So, my interpretation of the German DAX would be this left shoulder, head, okay, right shoulder, then looking for a flush low, okay. And that flush should take us down to gap fill at 12475, and there are multiple uh, gaps further below 12304. So that's my interpretation anyway, okay? Uh, in terms of um, the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC. My interpretation again, French CAC certainly heavily, heavily um, uh, overbought from my perspective. Certainly looking for a reversal on the daily chart. You can see we're into resistance, 60-minute chart. Again, you did to hit double top today, which was quite impressive. Certainly did hold that potential strength. Uh, having said that, just bear in mind, daily chart does need to hit the inverted head and shoulders target at 5 to 80 currently around the 5240 so there's certainly a possibility that we could go higher and again you do have an unfilled gap at 5295 which really would make sense for the french cac to pop either way looking for weakness given the fact that german dax certainly is top heavy okay uh, moving on to the footsie 100 footsie 100 10 minute chart still trying struggling to close that gap again mr carney did indicate that we are looking for weaker growth going down the road uh, international trade deals certainly will not help or compensate for the loss of of trade via Europe okay again going going to create inflation given the fact that we're looking for a weaker sterling and also obviously in terms of uh, the yields rising i.e. anticipation of interest rates especially after BOE Vileg certainly indicated so and therefore obviously a hawkish stance 
uh, is the dominant theme at the BOE, and therefore, obviously, that will cause the sterling to move higher, which in turn obviously help causes the FTSE 100 to move lower. Having said that, oil prices certainly have uh, plateaued. Uh, if you bring up the price of oil, or if I bring up the price of oil and give you an insight here as well, uh, here we go. Crude oil, you can see here, we certainly have rejected 60 minute chart, rejected that double top pattern there. Okay, so again. You have rejected 51, okay, and now looking to reverse. And as you can see, we've certainly sold off, certainly under pressure as well. So oil prices moving lower, certainly will pressure the actual FTSE 100 itself as well. Okay, last but not least, in terms of the market, you're looking at the Euro stocks here. Euro stocks are looking for a flush lower as well. Uh, daily chart certainly has it overextended again. Uh, target initially was 3560. We are currently at 3530, so certainly a possibility we go higher. But for my interpretation, certainly looking very top heavy on the Euro stocks now. Okay, you've certainly hit a peak of around the 3540 zone, and therefore one would look for a potential reversal lower. So that's my expectation. Certainly looking for weakness in the euro stocks as well. Okay, so I think that's a good summation with regards to European indices. Again, look for the FTSE, uh, look for weakness in the FTSE, especially with regards to the Boris Johnson uh, uh, debacle or controversy at the moment. It's an absolute dimwit. Okay, so again, looking for weakness here. Previous support equals resistance at 7295, which in turn obviously would make gap fill, and therefore looking for risk aversion. Okay, I think that's a good summation really of European indices. Uh, please be sure to visit Trade Signal and to download the latest app, and uh, you can certainly uh, uh, access it via the Google Play and the Apple App Store. And be sure to visit cfds.com to take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye. Now.